Hi, I am Sina Narasina. Welcome back to this Gaia One Complete. We're on episode 15 now, it seems. Yeah, I think because I usually just add to, to the uh, in game episode. So, let's start War of the Netherworld. This is a bit worrisome. I never thought human intervention could cause such disorder. Nor did I. This may hinder our plans. Yes, indeed. What is troubling you? Is there something else? I cannot believe that this is the work of humans alone. Someone must be pulling the strings. Do you have an idea of who it might be? I think so, but I cannot be certain. I mean, Seraph, come on. You cannot be that dumb. I see. I will investigate the matter. But if you strain yourself much more, you will. <laughs> that is of little concern. Compared to the ordeal they are enduring. Episode 13, War of the Netherworld, Part 2. <laughs> Humans. What do they want with the netherworld, I wonder? Beats me. I don't understand how humans think. I'm back. How'd it go, Gordon? Easy, as expected. Using Thursday's navigation system, I was able to lock onto the Gargantua's coordinates. Good work. Now we can board the ship directly. But still, I'm surprised you were able to find the coordinates. You look about as smart as a rock. Well, Thursday does most of the job, so... Well, it seems that Jennifer had already programmed them in. Oh. <laughs> as Jennifer did? Then did she expect this to happen? I guess so. Well, she's very, very smart, so it makes sense. But she must have wanted to give her father the benefit of the doubt. Indeed. That's probably why she never told me about it. planning on sitting around we can't just let the humans have their way let's go i shall show those fools what happens when you pick a fight with an overlord yeah we'll show them that's right i am overwhelmed with hero spirit i'll save jennifer no matter what <laughs> this is getting interesting that it does Okay, so I did train a little off screen. You may have noticed my other save, so I'll show you in a bit. This is a historic event. The castle has never been attacked by humans before. Uh, shouldn't you be a little? Uh, you shouldn't you be a little more worried? Ah, don't sweat it. For my experience, things always work out one way or the other. Another, I mean. An armada of two million chips. The Netherworld's doom, ha <laughs> ha! that's so true. You too, over there! Could you take things more seriously? I want a plastic model of that battleship. Hey, yeah, me too. Me too! <laughs> well, then me three. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, just talk to the other NPCs and then we can reload. Modern science, they call it. I was completely astonished. Yeah. I never thought humans would try to invade the netherworld. I'm quite impressed. I agree. But they went a, li they went a little too far. I'll show them what happens when you pick a fight with demons. Yeah. Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? Ghost of Betrayal. To get back my memories from Madeiras, I tried to poison the prince, but I couldn't go through with it. I couldn't stand being Madeiras bound anymore, and the king's voice in the back of my mind, of my mind. So instead, I used the prince to win my memories back from Madeiras. But I had tried to poison him. I had tried to betray him. Even though my memories were stolen, I still broke my promise to the king. King Kuchepsko, you must be angry with me. 
All right, so I think this is the second to last episode. So yeah, the next one is going to be uh, the last episode in game. Maybe I'll do, you know, the the additional stuff. I don't know if they added, added more stuff uh, on this uh, particular version of the game. But yeah, I'll be sure to play that. But I think I'm going to finish the game first, then grind a lot of screen, you know, to be ready because the challenges ahead are pretty, pretty like difficult and high level. And yeah, and then I will come back to this on a later date because I also have like other games to play. Uh, I, Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne just came out. I mean, the HD remaster. And I haven't played that, it's my first time playing it, so stay tuned for that too. Boy, this story is taking some unexpected twist. Hey everyone, you following this? Okay, now let's... Well, let me show you first where, where I stand. So yeah, I, I haven't been training the mages, you know. Also, we don't have Jennifer with us anymore because of what happened. Okay, now we can continue. As you see, I played another, like, two hours, something like, along these lines. And if I check, yeah, you can see, especially Flon, like, she went, like, some uh, up some levels. Edna a little, Freya a little, like, everyone else went just a little. Oh, also I made a, a healer, this is Lulu. But, uh, I just wanted her, you know, for her healing spells, which I'm teaching Flon to use. Also, I'm going to do something before we start. I'm gonna create a new character. We unlock yet another mage. Just look at this, this is the galaxy mage. This is the strongest mage there is. Humanoid, use all types of magic, wood with stab. So yeah, she is uh, like the prison mage, but it, uh, it can also just star magic and also has better stats. Also, it's really pretty, I, I really like the colors. So I'm not going to make a distinguished one because I don't want to deal with the dark assembly, so just a skill one. Uh... I like it. Okay, so we have six bonus points. Let's give three to intelligence and three to SP. So yeah, just in case like I want the heart to start learning spells, I can just keep. But also I need to have her equipped with stuff. I went to the item world, so I have some items. I did sell like uh, some of it, so I don't have all the items I used to. Okay, two evil armors. Uh... No, I don't want to use an orb, those are really, really weak. Maybe the Imperial Seal just meanwhile. Now I need a staff. Let's see what we can buy with what we have. Okay, that was a good stab, but we can do better. Okay, ooh, yeah, this is... I mean, I have some of this, but as you can see, I don't have enough money. Let's try to see... No, I don't want to sell that. I need to check if this is better for the heart than what he already has. I don't think so. I can sell this, this, and this. Okay, dimensional cape. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I obtained this from the hospital. Look, it has 666 HP. Very funny. Yeah, I don't have uh, a lot of things to sell, so... Uh... 
I could sell this one. But I I rather equip it to her. I don't know where this item came from. I think it was one of the because I, I changed the equipment around for the mages. So yeah, let's just leave the evil. Let's try to sell the evil armor. Let's see how much they give me for it. Wait, this one is more expensive than the other one. Let's let's check. Oh, it's because the evil armor gives me like SP. All right, let's see, let's sell the Bahamut scale then. It's useless for us. Now we can buy the. Stuff. Let's see. No, not you. Not you. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, it provides resistance, which is okay. I guess I could give it to uh, Lulu when I don't need it anymore. Because healing is based on resistance, actually, just uh, in case you didn't know that. Except for Flons, you know, Power of Love, that's based on intelligence. Ooh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to skip that. It's exceptionally hard to connect to a gate to, a mo to moving objects, but I was able to do so thanks to Thursday. Human technology is incredible. But of course! <laughs> you shut up! <laughs> So yeah, this is the Gargantua point alpha tree. So let's go. <laughs> Foolish weak humans. Feel the wrath of the overlord. Ha! General Carter, demons have commenced an attack. Don't fret for even a moment. Our armada is two million ships strong. Looks like our defensive fleet is being obliterated. What? What are the enemy's numbers? D just one, sir. <laughs> Oh, that sounded a lot like the Dragon Ball C English dub, when, you know, instead of having uh, people dying, they just say, oh, they just escape, or, oh, I can see their, uh, I can see their parachutes, they're okay. The so yeah, that's what you get for messing with me. Well, in this case, I guess it was because Lahar, you know, was being merciful. <laughs> See, he's not devoid of love. Shut up! I just don't want to stink up the netherworld with human corpses. That is true. I'm not. Beep, beep, blip, beep. High energy reading emanating from cannon. Everybody, look out! Oh yeah, this is stage. Okay, so it's going to be a little different. I already mentioned this last episode. What was that? Is that their secret weapon? You imbecile! Now's not the time to be impressed! <laughs> That's the Astro Cannon! The EDF's ultimate weapon! Demon or angel, you won't escape a shot unscathed! Hmm. Interesting. Didn't you hear what Mr. Gordon said? Let's just avoid the cannon for now. What? That's no fun. Listen up, everyone. We have to find the entrance so we can sneak aboard. Hang in there, Jennifer. I'll save you. No matter what lies ahead, Captain Gordon, defender of Earth, will fight to the end. 
Okay, so this cannon. Well, these cannons. Yeah, as you can see, they have a lot of attack and defense and resistance in this case. You could destroy them if you want, but as you can see, they have a lot of HP. I could destroy this, uh, the small ones. Now, they work similarly to the dark cannon I use, but of course they are way, way stronger. So if I place someone in here, they are just gonna shoot them. Now, when I was playing this the first time, uh, a, play, uh, a friend of mine was playing alone. And we were so, like, confused as what to do since the cannons were so powerful. I mean, we tried to level up, but even then, that, like, we couldn't, like, put a dent on those cannons. Now, at the time, of course, we didn't know, like, uh, how to level grind on these Gaia games and stuff like that. But all the answers you need are, are on what uh, they said during the, the story bits. You just need to look for the way out, which is this point right here. This is the exit. Notice how the game is not telling you this is an exit. You can confuse this with a geo panel. So yeah, all you need to do is place a character in there and you're done. If you want, you can face the cannons when you're stronger, like in a, a new game plus, but right now, uh, that's it. I think I just need to finish the turn. Yeah, see, they are attacking me. They cannot reach me because, you know... Yeah, see? That's a lot of damage. Wait. This was supposed to be the exit. Uh, do I have to do uh, something? Do I have to... I cannot move further. Do I need to defend or just... No, wait. Do I need to finish my turn in here? Those uh, small ones cannot hit me, but the big ones maybe. Uh, I'm actually a little confused about what's happening. Uh, I have to check on this. Be right back. I'm very sorry. Okay, I'm back. I think I got it. There we go. You have to literally walk in. So... Be mindful of that. I am very sorry. So yeah, that just make that just makes the whole thing more uh, confusing. Uh, I can take that later. I don't need it. Uh, yeah, I don't need it. I have already a lot of items for that. Okay, so this is the gargantua deck. Once you you uh. Do that one, you can just go to the interior. Now, if I remember correctly, you can only play these stages on this episode, I think. But we can check the next one. Papa, you're wrong, Papa. You must stop. Please, Papa, listen to me. Where am I? Are you awake? Curtis. Were you having a nightmare? You were tossing and turning. It doesn't matter. You won't have to worry about having those dreams anymore. C Curtis! That thing in your hand! You guessed it. Very good, Professor. You must know what it does, then. Stop it, Curtis! You call yourself human?! Do I? I lost 70% of my body and something even more dear to me in an incident. Maybe I lost my sense of humanity at that time, too. It's time to sleep. Sweet dreams. Ah! Mm, that scream! It's Miss Jennifer!
It's coming from that way. Let's go. More humans. Oh. They just don't learn, do they? Beep, beep, blip, beep. They are not human. Life signs, 0. 0.000000. Everyone, be careful. These are superhuman androids constructed by Curtis. Super... human? Androids? <laughs> That's right. Curtis is a brilliant scientist, rivaling even Jennifer. But he's been conducting fearful research all in the name of humanity. <laughs> Could that scream be? No! He's attempting to modify Jennifer! He's attempting to modify Jennifer? <laughs> hey, stop imagining weird things. <laughs> we have to save Jennifer. Okay, oh, okay, so this is very short. As you can notice, there are no geo panels. So, yeah, you can just take your time with this one, but of course, I won't. I have stuff to do. Uh, okay, I have an idea. Hopefully this is... yeah, this uh, hits all three, that's great. Now, compared to the enemies I was fighting... Uh, this is nothing. Like in the item world, yeah, those were ruthless. Please pin it right, please kill one. Yeah, I suspected this wasn't going to work when Lahar wasn't able to kill them. Okay, Divine Ray. Okay, maybe with the Galaxy Mage. Maybe I just with two eyes. How much resistance do you have? Uh, he might survive it, so... You know what I'm going to do. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I know you're wondering why am I trying to train another mage. Uh, you will find out next episode, don't worry. She's going to be useful. Oh, wait. I'll move it up a bit in a second. There we go. And now I can use... Yes, eyes. Oh, come on! How could you survive that? Now you're going to kill me. Well, you're going to try. Not that I'm going to let you. No, not that I'm letting you. Let's see how much these guys move. Uh, they move a lot. They could hit me if I don't leave, you know, someone in there. There we go. Ah, oh, but... <laughs> uh, well... That was my fault. Uh, I can kill another one later, but ah, it's infuriating. Let's revive her. At least uh, we can get another emblem, I think. Oh no. I think I need to get to like a hundred uh, revivals. Beep, beep, blip, beep. Captain Gordon, incoming message from General Carter. From Carter? Okay, Thursday, open a communication channel. Carter! <laughs> You're being a sore loser, Gordon. You're the one that's losing to a single demon, man. Stop being so cocky. Of course. I can't let a villain like you win for the sake of Earth. I swear by the name Defender of Earth, Carter, I will defeat you. 
just don't get it, do you? This invasion. What? Oops. As you know, the Earth is confronting a serious crisis. This that was my fault. Sorry. Boom in population, the rise in crime, and the shortage of natural resources. The human race can't survive much longer. It would require an astronomical budget merely to find a new home for the people of Earth. That's why taking over the Netherworld is such a simple and economical solution. Hmm. Your efforts are admirable. You'd make a great demon. <laughs> but there wouldn't be a crisis in the first place if you humans weren't so stupid. As the overlord of the Netherworld, let me say just one thing. Clean up your own damn mess. Yeah. You foul-mouthed little runt! I have something to add to that. General Carter, I am beyond angry! Give back my Jennifer, Chrome Dome! My Jennifer... Gordon! Why, you... You can't play nice. Then neither will I. I'll crush you for the sake of Earth's future. Prepare yourselves! Okay, this one is easier, the enemies are weaker, and this one has a lightsaber. Ooh, a rare lightsaber. I don't think that's a better t uh, equipment than the one I have, but it looks cool, so I can steal it. Oh, by the way, something I haven't mentioned, a another cool thing about the different rarities of items is, for example, this lightsaber is red. That's because it's it's uh, uh, the rank is rare. If the rank were legendary or common, it would be another color. So yeah, items change colors depending on, on the rarity. Rarity. Yeah, rarity. So it's very interesting. Uh, all other rats should be enough. There we go. Yeah, these guys are pushovers. Oh wow, they managed to kill Flon. I I'll give them that. But still, I, I want I want that lightsaber, so I'm, I'm gonna let them, you know, get closer. And they do manage to uh, hurt Lahar, so... Yeah, things are getting serious now. Thank you. Okay, now I just need to move Frey out of the way. We don't want to, you know, get an ally kill. Ooh, this one is about to like, yeah. Okay, you're weak to fire. Okay, now this time we won't mess up. Oh, come on. Let me see, Gordon. Thank you. Lifter and we fire away. Here you go, 15 levels from just that. Now let's kill that other guy. Uh, what is the yeah, the prison mate should be enough to finish this guy off. There we go. And we got some nice opera glasses. Ooh, Curtis! Glad you could make it, Gordon. I knew the hordes of security guards wouldn't be enough to stop you. I thought you might like to know. It's been five years since I lost my wife and daughter, and with them, my soul. Hey, he's giving us his life story. <laughs> Should we attack now? No, we have to listen. The Bible <laughs> always has a tragic past. May I continue? <laughs> oh, please, by all means. Oh, this is so fun. As I was saying, it's been five years since I lost my wife and daughter, and with them, my soul. 
Back then, I was a top scientist, burning with a passion to save the Earth. If it wasn't for that fateful incident... Five years ago? As a result of the explosion in the lab, I lost my family and 70% of my body. A group of anti-space development terrorists were to blame. You mean your wife and daughter were victims of that incident? That's right. You caught the culprits. But what comfort would that be to me? I swore to my wife and child, since the Defender of Earth couldn't do his job, I would take his place. And I became a cyborg to do just that. What good is the Defender of Earth if he can't save innocent people? A true Defender would do anything in his power to save as many people as possible. I mean, knowing Gordon, we know he tried. And uh, like, but sometimes you cannot save all people and you cannot hold like, uh, rescuers and policemen and things like that and people like that accountable for that it's their job yes and they do their best but no one can save everyone i can't accept anything less i will defeat you gordon and claim the title of true defender of earth but i also i can understand curtis he's grieving he lost you know his full family so yeah i can understand like he he wants to blame someone for that so yeah, but still, keep uh, both things in mind, I guess. That is the only path left to me. So that's it. I didn't know you had such a past, Curtis. It was all due to my failings. Forgive me. But what you're doing now, Curtis, is not what? I'm fighting for the sake of humanity. It's not the right way. Sorry, I, I skipped, uh, I accidentally. Invading the netherworld might save the Earth, but it would require many sacrifices. Is that what you want? Is that really for the sake of Earth? You should know best what it feels like to be a victim, Curtis. What will your wife and daughter think up in heaven? Oh, that's... <laughs> I am the Defender of Earth. I want to say that's a low blow, but on the other hand, it's totally true. My duty is to right what is wrong, even if it means that I must face a comrade in arms. I don't want to fight you, but this is for your own good. Here I come, comrade. Behold, the true spirit of a defender. Okay, this is, you know, the battle with Curtis. Funny how he has like, uh, oh, yeah, look, this lightsaber is common, so in this case is blue. So that's another way you can tell right away if weapons are like uh, legendary or rare. You just have to look uh, if they are a different color from everyone, everyone else's. Sadly, you cannot do the same thing for equipment, but that's okay. So enemy boost by 150, so you have to destroy these things right here. Which, I mean, I can take them on like this. See? Wait, I think I can use Blade Rush, maybe? Nah. And I also can use Wing Cutter. No. Alright, I'll just make your impact again. There we go. Now let's take this time just to, you know, recover my SP because Meteor Impact takes a lot out of me. And kill these guys! For you, I guess I can score them, actually. Uh, 
Okay, oh, perfect. And now I can use the Wukazuka. There you go. Wait, yeah, I can use Jill. Which, by the way, I, I, I just realized that I don't have, like, the effects activated. Whoops. That explains why we're moving so fast. Where are you, Freya? There you are. She hasn't learned, like, any other, like, gone move, and it's a little disheartening. Oh, that's all of them. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, here comes Curtis, but don't worry. We can handle him. We just need to, you know, destroy these things. Go, 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 That looks like Final Fantasy is free. But I guess that's not, you know, a pretty normal, normal image for a demon. Okay, I can go here and I can... Oh, I can use Flon to cure myself, actually. Okay, here comes Curtis. Oh wow, he's pretty bulky. Okay, he's quick to win, so you know what to do. There we go. Well done. You've proven me wrong. I felt the true defender's spirit. The strength of your determination. Even in this mechanical body. I lost. Now, finish me. Okay. <laughs> we'll kill you in one painless blow. Well, at least they're merciful. Curtis, our battle has already ended. You tried to do what you thought was right. It's just that your sorrow drove you to do it in the wrong way. That's why I want you to fight by my side as a comrade. How about it? Gordon. I could use a skilled person like you as one of my vassals. Yeah, actually. <laughs> the Overlord's vassal. That doesn't sound too bad. But... It seems that my body needs to recharge. I must sleep for a while. Gordon, be careful of Jennifer. Curtis, be careful of Jennifer? What does he mean by that? Be Oops. careful of Jennifer? I wonder what was the joke in, in the original Japanese because the, this is the third time she's been doing that. I mean, it's still really funny. Thinking what I'm thinking? Modification? Mm -hmm. Modification. Will you three grow up already? <laughs> Wait, I want to check the prices. Not yet. Uh, I think we are doing good for for what we have. We finally got you cornered, Carter. Release Jennifer now. As you wish. Ooh, well, ballot swap Jennifer. I Jennifer. like those colors. <laughs> Me neither. How disappointing. Hey, you call this a modification? 
So you found out about it, eh? That's right. I've installed a neural override device. Neural override? Exactly. Jennifer is now my puppet. Jennifer, go defeat Gordon. You know, that's pretty creepy. <laughs> this must be a joke. I, the Defender of Earth, could never lose to such a delicate creature. Okay, that's a little sexist, Gordon, but you know, I'm gonna give you a pass because you mean well most of the time. Also remember not to take me too seriously. <laughs> just saying, just in case. <laughs> Indeed. Gordon, maybe you're not cut out to be a hero. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what do you think of that? Jennifer is a master of the ancient martial art, Kung Fu. What? I never knew that. My, my, Gordon, you really don't know anything about your assistant or, you know, uh, your rival? And let me just move the the microphone a little. There we go. You never asked. Indeed. That explains it. So what am I supposed to do? No way can I use my full fighting potential against Jennifer. You lose anyways, man. <laughs> How about we just blow up the entire ship? I already claimed this ship. Oh. Ah, uh, I see. Well, so much for that idea. Captain Gordon, defender of Earth, facing his greatest challenge ever. How pathetic, Gordon. What happened to that spirit you were bragging about? Oh, well, she recharged pretty quickly. Curtis, you're better already. Your voice woke my heart up to the ideals I forgot long ago. Stand aside. Let me show you my defender spirit. Jennifer, kill that traitor first. Gordon, you called me a comrade. I looked up to you. That's why I became a scientist in the first place. Just how did things end up like this? If only I had realized sooner. Once again, I'm very sorry. I just uh, the, the thing is, I'm looking at another screen while playing because I'm doing something else. So yeah, I got distracted, and since Curtis is talking slowly, I yeah, sorry. No, it's enough that I realized it in the end. I bet they're smiling down on me from heaven. Jennifer, stop wasting your time with that miserable traitor. Curse you all. I'll just blow you all up at Jennifer too. In case of an event like this, I put a bomb inside the neural override device. <laughs> now die. I made that device, and I know its weakness. <laughs> Jennifer, I can't let you die here. Curtis! Hey Gordon, do you think I could ever be a true defender of Earth? Yeah, yeah, of course you could be. What am I saying? You are a true defender of Earth! Thanks, Gordon. I won't forget the Defender spirit you showed me. So yeah, that's it for Curtis. I should be the one thanking you. So much for joining my party. Curtis, you will be known as the 38th Defender of Earth. Heed my words, Death. I command you in the name of King Laharl. 
Lead the soul of Curtis, defender of Earth, to his family's side. That's pretty kind for for Lahara. Prince, Lahara, don't say a word. As the Overlord of the Netherworld, I was just paying homage to a true hero. That's all. Yes. That was pretty, pretty noble of him. Wait, Gordon! Jennifer, you're back to normal! Yes, I was conscious the entire time I was being controlled. Because of me, Curtis... He did what he thought was right. I'm sure he has no regrets. And now his spirit will burn brightly in your heart. Yeah, you're right. Jennifer, you are no longer my assistant. Fight alongside me as an equal, as a defender of Earth. So as you can see, yeah, Gordon is now learning to uh, look beyond stereotypes and things like that. So it's great. That's good character development. Understand. Let's forget about the past and concentrate on the present. Wait, wait, Jennifer! I'm your father! Have you forgotten everything that I've done for you? No, I haven't. If you hadn't taken me in back then, I might not be here today. I loved you and believed in you. But we were never a true family to begin with. You raised me only so you could manipulate me. Again, I'll never pretty creepy. You father again. Prepare yourself, Carter. <laughs> you ungrateful little. That's it. Die. Oh, uh, uh, celestial host. Apparently, someone's been pulling strings from behind the scenes. Celestia's involved, huh? It just keeps getting better, Prince. It can't be. Is this the will of the Seraph? Not exactly. Okay, yeah. So, the Celestial Host... Are actually not chumps like the other units, they have pretty good stats. Yep. So, this may be hard, and you may notice that Carter is in here, so yeah, the bastard escaped. So, the thing with the Celestial Host is that uh, they can use an array of weapons and multiple uh, elemental spells, so. Yeah. I better get rid of them as soon as possible. Ah, oh, their weaknesses are pretty rounded, so it's hard to, you know, just pick one. Oh yeah, Jennifer is back. I think that's the level she was on last time, so yeah. Here I come. Okay, that's one. Oh, that one is still alive. Oh no! Right. Yeah, it's a good thing they don't have that much HP. They will be like really pesky if they did. Okay, now for fun. Mm, maybe if I troll her. Oh, really? Ah, doesn't matter. 
I wonder if uh, Divine Ray is stronger. Let's see, power 136%. Oh, it's, it has the same power of, uh, as the Omega spells. Actually, oh no. Yeah, the thing, uh, that's the staff's, like, bonus to my magic. I actually don't know how much uh, Divine Ray hits for. Hopefully this is enough to kill them. Perfect. But still, that's a lot of them. Uh, so, let's see. You're weak to fire, you weak to win. Okay, let's try it with win. I kill one. How much HP do you have left? Okay, maybe if I use the Galaxy Mage. No, I wanna uh, up Gordon like advance a little further. Yeah, you. Hopefully, they don't have like a lot of resistance so I can kill it. Or I will die here. Oh, chilling Mega Fire. Perfect. There we go. More free levels. I'm gonna get killed, but you know, it's important to at least get the levels. And now I can use Gordon and Thursday. There we go. Die. Your weak to wind. Your weak to ice and your weak to wind. Your weak to fire. Yeah, they like their weaknesses are all, all over the place. Oh, I have an idea. Uh, let's see. Oh, maybe I can kill this one with Terminus Omega. Forget my idea. I, uh, I thought this was an enemy, so I was gonna use Gordon to combo with Jennifer, but no, that's this is my mage. It's all up to me. There we go. Only one left. Fool. Okay, a true defender of her combo. There we go. The bastard escape. Believe it. Demons are that powerful. His information was completely wrong. Damn him. Is he trying to drive humanity into extinction from the beginning? Who is he? 
Oh, who, who are you? No matter how advanced your technology is, it is impossible to infiltrate the netherworld without help. Now answer, who is behind this? I, I, I can't. If you do not say, I will kill you. Wow, me boss suddenly got serious. It, it's a man with white wings. I'm innocent. I, I, I just wanted to save the Earth. I see. Foolish human, you cannot save the Earth. How do you intend to save all of mankind when you cannot even save your daughter? You have sacrificed the lives of others to satisfy your own ego. Until you realize that, you will be plagued by nightmares. We will be watching you. Oh, why am I so awesome? <laughs> Thank you, Curtis. I will never forget you. I swear to you that I will fight with both our strength for the sake of humanity. No, not just for humanity, for every living creature. I will too, Curtis. You saved my life. I shall repay you by dedicating it to world peace and to preventing others from becoming victims like you and your family. Juan? I'm going back to Celestia. What? I must return to find out the Seraph's true intentions. Episode 13, War of the Netherworld, Part 2, End. So yeah, Seems cliffhanger. Like one problem leads to another. We found out that the humans were being manipulated by the angels. Now, Flan wants to return to Celestia to go face to face with the Seraph himself. What awaits her there? Will the Archangel's true intent be finally revealed? Next on Disgaea, Hour of Darkness, final episode. What lies beyond the battle? The fate of the Netherworld is in your hands. This must be a dream. Eden is acting all serious. Could this be a sign of terrible things to come? Probably. It's the end of the world. End of the world. Danger. <laughs> danger. Danger. Dude, everybody run! <laughs> the pretty. Oh, they left the original Japanese. I think the one Ooh, screaming they're gonna get it. Taskete was uh, Jennifer's uh, voice actress in Japanese. <laughs> okay. So yeah, this was a very eventful episode. We are almost at the end of the game. But for now, I'm gonna leave it here. And then we can go back for the finale of the story mode. So, anyways, enjoy the video, leave a like, have something to say, comment down below. One more, please subscribe. It's this video ending, you can bet it is. So, thanks so much for watching, goodbye.